First of all, she was passionate about people. She was absolutely passionate about people. She cared for people, people who came in the restaurant, her customers, her family. She just would make you feel good, just about dinner reservations even. Molly was uh, the matron of honor at my wedding, and she was gonna be the godmother of my firstborn son. So when I'm giving birth to my firstborn, uh, the party started at McGuire's Irish Pub, and uh, soon after delivering J.J. Reeves, uh, here comes Molly leading the celebration, rocking my brand new baby, smoking a cigar, singing to him. That's Molly. I would describe her as the best godmother a couple of kids could have because she is the godmother of both of my boys, who are now in their 30s. We went all over the world together. So it's just n nothing but fond, fond mem memories that I have uh, uh, with M Molly throughout her entire life and ours. You know, McGuire started in 1977 over in Fairfield Plaza. And it was a very tiny little strip mall with just a tiny little McGuire's. And her first tip she got was a dollar. So she put it on the wall for good luck. And after that, she just felt like the business was getting bigger and it, more people were coming in and different the politicians found it and then the military found it and it just got bigger and bigger because every day she was there working it and telling them about why she was here and what was important about McGuire's and the spirit of the Irish pub. At the same time, she'd be telling about the best things about Pensacola. She'd be saying, visit, the beaches are beautiful, go to the naval base. So she kind of like was not only a tour guide, but a welcoming home for Pensacola. Well, Molly and McGuire, I think their true love were the military men and women in Pensacola. I think that's why they love Pensacola so much. And I really think they started McGuire's in the 70s just for a wonderful place for soldiers to go and have fun and have a beer and some good food and play darts and sing with Molly, laugh with Molly. One of the funniest things was, uh, you know, after she passed, McGuire's going through all her stuff, and he's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know she liked jewelry so much. She like really likes jewelry. I'm like, Dad, how could you not know you bought it? He's like, I didn't buy it. And then I'm like, I think you should have seen it coming because the biggest floral arrangement was from Jewelers Trade. So <laughs> obviously Molly was very smart that she had all this jewelry and McGuire didn't know about it. When Irish eyes are smiling. Molly was passionate about singing. Now, to this day, if you're walking around the parking lot of McGuire's, you'll hear her voice. So she lives on through her voice, and she sometimes we'd have to close the doors when she wanted to sing on stage so nobody would leave, but she made, she made her very happy. We put together an endowment of over $200,000 at Pensacola State College for culinary art students. And uh, to me, that's just the perfect thing for her because she loved the restaurant business, she loved the restaurant people, and for her legacy to be provide scholarships through an endowment at Pensacola State College is just a wonderful legacy for her. Molly characterizes what Pensacola is. People come before politics. Quality and excellence are paramount. And especially that life is to be enjoyed. She was so kind and, and joyful and spiritual and just totally felt like you're so lucky to be in Pensacola and I'm lucky to have you in McGuire's. I've never met a more gentle, sincere, genuine person that uh, kind of went out of her way to make other people, build people, other people up. She's as close to Mother Teresa as you can get in my opinion, in Pensacola, Florida. I remember having lunch with Molly and um, she asked how it was going and listened very intently and lovingly. And, and Molly would do this for me and anybody, any stranger that, that would talk to her about an issue. And I always had this sense that like, she would like pull out this sword, this warrior woman to say to me, you're gonna let fear keep you from success? So no, Molly. Of course I wouldn't. You became all that you could be when you were around Molly.